Hey guys, so today I want to come on after seeing a little discussion about stimulators that do not require an implantable battery. And it actually started with someone saying that they heard that some company, I don't know what, is thinking about having leads with batteries implanted. And I was like, that's sort of stupid because then you're going to need to change the lead if the battery's inside the lead. So these companies that have external batteries, that actually makes a heck of a lot more sense. And the big three that are doing this right now are Nalu, Stimrouter, and Stimwave. And while Nalu and Stimwave have both peripheral nerve stimulators and spinal cord stimulators, Stimrouter is more of just a peripheral nerve stimulator. And something else I found interesting is that it didn't seem that Stimrouter has a trial. They sort of say, you know, hey, it's so easy to implant that we can explant it if it doesn't work. But for Nalu and Stimwave, especially if you're getting a spinal cord stimulator, but it seems that they do it for both peripheral and spinal cord stimulators, they do have a trial period, which I think, I think is important for any device. And I'm going to pop up some pictures along the way. Um, all of these devices require more of an external setup, some device part that is put over the lead that is under your skin. And that is usually attached with some form of adhesive. Some even have a belt that holds it in place even more. When I had my trial with a peripheral nerve simulator, I actually had an allergic reaction to the adhesives. But I, I didn't like the product at all. We'll not be mentioning it. But uh, another thing that was brought to my attention was the fact that all three of these have a lot of limitations that people with, you know, implantable battery stimulators don't have. Like, these are super sensitive. Like, I'm talking you can't stand next to the microwave without worrying about your device being damaged. I am putting sort of user manuals in the description because that's where you're going to find all the warnings, you know, this is going to like shut your thing off or whatever. One cool thing is that most of them, or if not all of them, are MRI conditional. So that's pretty sweet. So I just want to make this to sort of give you an idea of some other options. Uh, I know it can get so confusing especially if you're just going into this whole world of, okay, someone says I need an implant device to help my pain. But I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.